And of course, safety is the number one word today that we should all uh, have in the back of our minds as we take a live look now over Indianapolis. Some gray skies there, Kelly, which means, uh, of course, things are, are, are coming. They're on the way. Well, yes, and we're actually looking to see those skies breaking up a little bit. Mm -hmm. That will allow for a little bit of that instability in the atmosphere mm -hmm. that will allow for the air to quickly rise. So that's what we're looking for on radar and our satellite to see if we're going to see some breaks in the action. So we're going to play back here. This is the last few hours of our visible satellite and so it's picking up the very white cloud tops here but also notice to our southwest this is an area we're watching out for that is starting to see a bit of clearing ahead of the boundary here so this is going to be moving in we'll watch this to determine if we are going to see any breaks in the clouds that will help create more instability right now we still have a lot of rain overhead and taking a wider look at this storm system it's pretty massive we have the area of low pressure that's spinning across the northern plains it's going to slide off to the southeast and and with it, we're still seeing that warm front lifting in a lot of moisture, a lot of moisture to work with with this system as we have the dew point still in the 60s in many spots and a lot of moisture being tapped in from the Gulf of Mexico. A lot of activity off to our west with this storm system right now. And live Doppler 13 radar has been very active all morning long. Taking a look at the cloud coverage overhead, 64 and cloudy in Connorsville, 64 in Indianapolis at 65 in Sharpsville right now, 61 in Crawfordsville. Live of clouds overhead. Right now it's 63 in Kokomo, it's 66 in Bedford. So temperatures are going to hover in those mid to upper 60s throughout the afternoon. Winds are going to be gusty. We're going to see winds increasing. Right now we've recently had a wind gust in Muncie of almost 30 miles per hour, much of the same in Shelbyville, Greencastle, 25 mile per hour wind. These are going to increase this afternoon. We're expecting 30 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts, as well as some gusting over 40 miles per hour. And that's outside of the squad line that we expect to set up later this afternoon. Here's another look at our outlook for today. It does include all of Indiana outlined for a risk of severe weather. Really doesn't matter if it's a two, three or four with the potential of seeing tornadoes anywhere across central Indiana this afternoon. The parameters are still up there. We're looking for more instability this afternoon to fire up some of those stronger storms. So hopefully we stay in the rain a little bit longer. But right now the main threats look to be late this afternoon when we'll start to see that line really pushing in after 4 p.m. this afternoon till about 11 o'clock tonight. Tornadoes will be possible. Straight line winds will be likely, especially along the leading edge, and we could still see them below severe status. But nonetheless, it is going to be a very windy evening. Heavy rain does look likely as well. We're already picking up some heavy downpours right now, but later on tonight could pick up another one to two inches of rain. So let's take a look at this hour by hour on future track. As we go through the noon hour here, we're still going to see more shower activity, thunderstorms moving over central Indiana. Some of these could be a bit strong, but right now we're likely going to see them staying below severe status. It's going to be after four or five o'clock today when we'll start to see more of a line of storms setting up right now. We still think we could see a squall line. Perhaps they'll be more discreet in action here, but nonetheless, this will move across the area later this evening, pausing this at 6 p.m. This is still west of the metro area, but this could be faster or it could be slower. Right now we think it might be a little bit faster than that moving into the Indianapolis area 530 to 6 p.m. This is at 7 p.m. So it may slow down a little bit. So keep your guard up throughout the afternoon all across the area. Most of the activity will be out of West Central Indiana by 7 p.m. tonight. It'll continue to march off to the east, so east central Indiana, seeing some of the stronger action 7, 8 o'clock tonight, and then it will continue to move on out. Once that moves out around 9, 10 o'clock tonight, things will start to die down a bit. Now, we're still going to have rain on radar, but the bulk of this is really going to start dying down, and that severe risk will die down as well. So as far as temperatures go, hovering again in those mid to upper 60s to near 70 degrees, but stormy conditions throughout the afternoon and perhaps some breaks in the clouds here and there. As we go through the overnight, we're actually going to see the clouds clearing out. That is going to allow temperatures to fall. We'll see things getting much quieter. High pressure builds back in, and we will see a morning where temperatures are going to fall back into the upper 30s and low 40s, near normal for this time of year. And then tomorrow afternoon, a quieter today it will be sunny and dry and breezy and below average. For today, again, we continue to stress to stay weather aware today as that potential of severe still on the table 
cool at this point. 70 degrees. Tomorrow we're into some breezy conditions during the afternoon. Another cold front moves through, but too much dry conditions to really squeeze out any moisture. But we'll see a high of 58. Friday does look a little better. We have temperatures rebounding back into the mid 60s for Easter weekend. Saturday we'll see some clouds around 54, 52 and cool for Easter.